Cone Bone Wa, good evening, Enclave. It is I, Loki the Mad Titan, and welcome to episode 7 of America Rising 2, starring Isabella Steele with special guest star Heather Kasdan. So, this is America Rising 2 with the modded companion Heather, who is with us. We are at Parsons. It's been a couple weeks since we played this due to the Fallout 4 update debacle, <laughs> but I was able to record an episode of a Killer Frost, which is Fallout 4, um, with the current version of the script extender without any issues, so hopefully that will be the case here as well. I just, uh, on that note, just had to sit through the seven new quests popping up. Now, that's right, you heard that, seven... Seven new quests popping up. So, All Hallows Eve, Pyromaniac, Best of Three, Echoes of the Past, When Pigs Fly, Crucible, and Speak of the Devil. So, we were trying to do the Secret of Cabot House. Uh, I'm trying to even remember <laughs> why we were why were you even doing this. Because it was uh, a couple weeks ago at this point, uh, almost a month. And I'm trying to remember exactly why I wanted to do this. And I'm totally... We're going to let Lorenzo out, which I've never done before. So that that's what we're doing. But why... Why was I doing this specifically? I'll, I'll have a think-think about that. And in the meantime... I thought we'd do something completely off the cuff here and check out these new the new the new quests with the update. Daniel had asked uh, he's one of the one of my uh, regular subscribers. He had asked if uh, I would be covering this. Then I could do it as like its own little mini series, but I figured why not just do it a part of this series we're playing it. It makes much more sense here than in Killer Frost, because Killer Frost is Frost, and it's it's a whole nother thing where America Rising 2 is just adding an Enclave storyline into Vanilla Fallout 4. I wish my brain would uh, kick in and start working and remind me why I was doing the Secrets of Cat House. I know there was a very specific reason why I wanted to do that, and uh, again, I'm just totally blanking. So we're going to select that off. We'll come back and do that, and let's start, I guess, in reverse order. Browse the Watts Electronics store. So we're actually going to bounce right out of here. Come on, Heather. And that's right. I said you're Enclave. If you're watching this, you're Enclave. And also, you're special. Not not in the <laughs> in the Vault Tech way. <laughs> If you are new to the channel, those are Roshko and Gajimasa. If you're new to the series, as Jimmy Mashte. And if you are a regular, like Daniel, like Isabel still, she's been MIA for like over two weeks now. I hope she is okay. She had been in the hospital for some surgery, uh, but got out and was fine, as far as I know. And then went radio silent. And has been radio silent ever since then. Uh, she had been in regular contact with me. So that's why it's particularly odd. Uh, let's fast travel to uh, make this up a little quicker. Have we been there before? We have been there before. So I guess we'll just go right here and we'll see what, what this quest is all about. Now one of the reasons I'm doing this right now immediately is because I already messed up one of the quests in Killer Frost because I was just ignoring them and just playing Killer Frost and I ended up failing one of the missions uh, because of that and I don't I would like to actually see what Bethesda added in uh, and apparently this version of Fallout there should be another update coming because apparently this version is not stable so the script extender uh, author uh, Ian or Ian Pratt had said expect crashes that are not related not related to the script extender so listen birds you know how I feel about birds 
Somehow I missed. You can't vats the birds. But it made them fly away. Oh, they're all being creepy in the tree over there. Stop it. Everybody knows birds aren't real. I've had some constructive criticism from a couple different uh, people recently, and I don't mind construction. Uh, construction. <laughs> I do mind construction. Uh, I don't mind constructive criticism. Um, one of one of the uh, people, which is a new subscriber, I think it was Oogly Boogly, that's watching the rim, had completely valid points. I'm doing too many series. My episodes are too long. That's that's those are both accurate statements. I I know that uh, everything is trending towards shorter. You know, shorts are the big thing, the big slammy jam. So I should be doing shorts. I should be doing live streaming. I don't really like doing shorts. I don't really like doing live streaming. Well, I can't say don't really like. I'm just I'm nervous about it. Um, all right. So what are we doing here? All right. There is a. Holo tape and a note. Black Devil Volume One. All right, that sounds like uh, a, an album by White Zombie or something. Um, dig through the ditches and burn through the witches. And all right, let's read Connie's note first, I guess. It seems like we've been fighting off raiders ever since I moved back home. Bastards are like roaches. You kill one, ten more crawl out of the cracks. I asked Pa how he dealt with them, and he said he didn't have to. Back in the day, there was this guy. They called him the Black Devil. He made it his mission to drive all the raiders out of the Commonwealth. Whenever you needed his help, you just tuned your radio to his station, and he'd be there. So naturally, I wanted to know what happened to him. Pa said he didn't know... About a year ago, the radio went static, and it's been Raider heaven ever since. But last week, I was at the old Watts building looking for scrap, and came across this display that mentions the devil by name. There were also a couple of holotapes, which I couldn't make heads or tails of, so I asked my cousin Richie for help, because he's good with this stuff. He thinks the tapes might have music in them, a way to summon the devil. Okay, uh, what's with the American music playing in the background? The blurb on one of the whole tapes mentions two radio stations, AM 810 and FM 52.7. Richie thinks it might be tied to the old relay towers with the same numbers just northeast of here. Maybe we can use it to send up some music back to the station. Anyways, I'm leaving note here just in case. I'm probably just being paranoid, but I get the feeling we're being followed. Still, if my hunch is right and for some reason we don't make it, uh, someone has to finish what we started and bring the devil back to the Commonwealth. Okay, can we, can we, is it, is it you? No, is it, is it this radio? That's, oh my god. The, I'm gonna get freaking copy claimed for this nonsense. Let's get out of here. Then I'll play the tape outside. This episode is not sponsored by Dr. Pepper Cream. Mmm, -mm, good. I love delicious cream in my mouth. This is an extra longer load. <laughs> or should I say it's a big load? Alright. Let's listen to that tape before I get distracted and forget. So I do appreciate constructive criticism, as long as it's constructive and not just, You suck! I mean, I know I suck, you don't have to tell me. That's why I only have 299 subscribers. <laughs> I can't even get, to, couldn't even get to 300 for my birthday. And I only had to go a couple, and it's five days past my birthday, and still, still, still not at 300. Uh, okay. Where's, where, what was the name of that tape? I forgot already. There it is. The Black Devil. I have to always remember that. If it's the, it always goes in T. The Black Devil, Volume 1. Play. If this is White Zombie, I'm going to freak out. Alright. No, it's not. It's reading. Uh, the Devil Cometh. We were just talking about Comething. Uh, the Devil's Music. The Devil Cometh. Introducing the Black Devil. By day, he's a hard-working janitor. Cleaning toilets at the local police station. By night, he's a commie fighting superhero. Here to uphold our core values of truth tax loopholes, and the principles of free market. Working with the U.S. government, the Black Devil gained his superhuman strength by merging his body with the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
With the Constitution covered in the impenetrable ink of our founding fathers, he hunts down communists with a gusto known only to the devil himself. So when communists invade our neighborhood, just tune Watts Brand Radio to AM 810 or FM 52.7 and make sure to turn it all the way up. Only when you play the music of America will the Black Devil recognize you as a true patriot and come to the rescue. Okay. This is weird. I mean, this this is what I mean. I know, I know that I know, I know the Fallout 4 update was great uh, for console users, and significantly less great for computer user. And yeah, sorry, computers are better. Uh, it's just my opinion. So you can argue with me about that if you want. But uh, I there's just so much more you can do. On a computer, but anyway, so it's great. It's great if you're on Xbox, you're on PlayStation, you're on Atari, you know, ColecoVision, whatever, whatever you got going on, you know, a Commodore 64, Bravo, Bravo. I'm glad that uh, you can get you know 60 FPS now. That's that's super awesome. Um, but this is the type of shenanigans that they added. Uh, hopefully, it gets better. It's it's too early on for me to judge, but this seems ridiculous so far like fault 76 ridiculous all right devil's music as a true patriot the black devil loves all songs that celebrate america but then, then why, why is he called the black devil? it doesn't make any sense oh my god but of that large and illustrious catalog three in particular distinguish themselves as his favorites the battle hymn of the republic is a song that foretells the judgment of the wicked for when the red army hears its melody on the breath of our soldiers they will crumble in agony and pain as their ears are too frail to withstand the sheer sonic power of freedom the stars and stripes forever is the heartbeat of military march while the battle hymn prepares one for war, the stars and stripes are the echoes of artillery fire, the sheet music of war. Lastly, America the Beautiful. Not much more needs to be said about this timeless ballad, for America's beauty is what we fight for and aspire to protect. That is why these three songs have been chosen as the Black Devil's signature music as a soldier, warrior, and God-fearing American. When he hears them played on the radio, he will answer the call. Oh, okay. So, I didn't finish my... I'm gonna go over here to see what's on fire. My regular... So if you are regular to this series... Which is still a newer series. Akai Rinasai. Welcome. What is happening over here? Oh, no, that's Ada, isn't it? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk to Ada. Akai Rinasai, welcome back. Welcome home. Thank you so much for spending time with me. So, we are going... Let's take a quick look at the map to see exactly where we're going. Not that far, right over here. Now, just a reminder, we are playing on Isabella Still's character. Isabella Still's character was created for Whispering Hills, starring Isabella Still, which we did that entire series with uh, her character, but we went immediately to Whispering Hills, so there's still, as you can see on the compass, tons of locations that we have not even discovered with her. Heather, you're being kind of quiet. You all right? You okay? I can't see you and your freckles. You doing... All right, she turned away from me, I guess... This must have bad breath. It's that coffee drink I just drank earlier. I don't I don't drink coffee. Uh but we, Incoming! What where? Blood bugs? Right. Trees. Trees trees in the way. Oh my god, I'm getting tree blocked. Oh, hi. Right behind me. Hi. Hi, right behind me. What? Where, what? Why am I being attacked by bugs? What is happening? All right, did, did you, where are you? Where are you going? Twenty-two per, twenty-three oh percent. What's blowing up? We're just trying to kill a bug. Right, you no. should be. You got it, Heather. It's just freaking just a bug. What, why are we having such a hard time with this? No, it's still there. 
Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you for killing the bug. Thrilling combat. Can't even kill a bug. I keep losing track of what I'm talking about. Yes, I ramble. Uh, that was the second constructive criticism uh, that I received. Uh, all the way back on Project Valkyrie Episode 2. Alright, we hear some more fighting going on. I wonder if it's the Black Devil! No idea. Who's fighting? Was that, uh... I talk too much. I never shut up. Um, the <laughs> that I don't talk enough about Fallout 4. <laughs> um, I'm going to sound somewhat condescending, and I don't really mean that because I, I understand what he means. I do ramble, I do talk about cooking, and my son, and my family, and my life. Uh, and I'm not going to stop doing that. I can't imagine recording a two-hour video where, you know, again, this is part seven. So 14 hours I've done of this. 14 hours of me talking about Fallout 4. That feels like a lot of talking about Fallout 4. Is this XO power arm? Are you sh... <laughs> All right. Uh, the reason why it's irritating to me is Killer Frost is still using T60. And, uh... No XO power armor has showed up in her playthrough yet at all. And Killer Frost uses power armor. She uses winterized power armor. And, uh... We might as well detect this since we're here. In case we need to come here for some future reason. Go ahead, just detect it, please. There you go. Thank you. Is that a giant bug in there? That is a, a, just a giant, giant bug. Just... You're mine now. How? Oh my god. You got it, Heather? It's sweet Jesus. So, again, I understand his point. Um... I, I watch some streamers and some other YouTubers that don't talk at all. That's really weird, or like very rarely. Uh, to me, that's odd. I, I I I understand me rambling, especially, and I do get on some tangents sometimes. Can be probably annoying, and and that's fine. I'm, and if that's the case, I'm sorry. But again, I'm, that's not something I'm going to stop doing. That's me. So, you know, if you don't like that, then you probably wouldn't like me, and that's that's okay. You don't have to like me. Again, that's why I only have 299 subscribers. <laughs> and I love each and every one of you, because at least you're uh, willing to tolerate listening to me talk for an hour or two. Alright, so what are we going to be doing here? Here we go. Okay. Enclave Remnant. So here's the here's the thing that's going to be a little weird about this. So yes, I didn't know this was immediately going to be Enclavey. It's on. How did I miss? Seriously. Figure it out. All right, that should be the end of them, right? Oh, that's Heather. So we're gonna have to make up uh some sort of like little lore. Uh, explanation for this. Uh, I believe it was an uh, one of my oldest subscribers from a long time ago. I think it was even when I had the the, the, uh, the other piece of paper that I used to use to write down. It was um. You actually hear me? Yes, physical paper. Yeah, there it was. Extreme J two thousand. Uh, who's watching uh, who had watched and comment on fusion city, but I haven't he hadn't commented in so long fusion city was like one of the first fall four mods I did he hadn't commented in so long I wasn't sure if he was uh, even watching anymore, but then he commented on my post about how This fallout 4 update was adding the enclave in while I'm playing an enclave mod um, Where I'm where I'm in the enclave, but then I was gonna be getting attacked by people in the enclave and that it would be Weird because I should be recruiting them not murdering them All right, so we got the, the patriotic music playing again from somewhere that I would love to turn off Because our troops go marching on and it, but I don't see where exactly it's coming from. All right, probably that radio there Can we can we stop please? 
Thank you. I mean, we are trying to summon the Black Devil. Right now, what's happening? Seriously. I don't even necessarily want to get involved. I'm just trying to figure out... Okay, I mean, we'll take out a glowing legendary blowfly if we could actually land the shot. <laughs> As you can tell, uh, Isabella is not great with uh, the type of weapon that she's using. Because she was not built that way. She was built for Whispering Hills. Which I played without cheating, straight up. I'm a wanderer. They call me a wanderer. Oh, she's so far away, can't even hear her songs. I like her little songs that she sings. Alright, where'd that... You son of a bitch, where'd you go? There you are. Nikki. <laughs> oh my god. That'd be great for Dusty and Dusty Rhodes, because he's only using melee and unarmed, but kind of... Kind of useless for Isabelle. Yeah, so Isabelle, I mean, if you take a quick look at her stats... She was built specifically... For Whispering Hills, uh, which was like totally survival hard, no vats, nothing like that. Uh, so now I'm having to like adapt the character for this since I'm using the same character in a different playthrough, and it's uh, it, it's it's going to take a while before I'm able to get her. So that way her uh, skill set is relevant. All right, so who are you, Richie? Or oh, Richie's dead. Uh, so he has the music catalog, his note, um, sorry you're dead, Richie. Okay, so I have to read his note, I'm taking his carrot, and Richie's note. Oh man, I should have never helped Connie with that radio, now he's done for. Who's done for? I was in the bushes when they took him. One of them said they were taking him to that old police bureau across the river. It sounds like they wanted to interrogate him. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I can upload the stars and stripes, but Connie still has the tape with the other music in it. He's so clever, though. Maybe he can find a way out. I guess all I can do is just wait here and hope he comes back. Huh. So I'm supposed to do stars and stripes, apparently. And then we're going to the B-A-D-T-F-L. Alright, Stars and Stripes. How am I doing this? Extend satellites, sure. Okay. As I started to say, I don't drink coffee. If you, you know, listen to any of my almost 500 episodes, you, you, I've mentioned that from time to time. But I did get something. It's called Only What You Need, O-W-Y-N, Non-Dairy Coffee Shake, Double Shot Vanilla Latte. I got it for free. And I'm a big... I like free stuff. <laughs> so, I was like, heck yeah, I'll take uh, this drink for free. It's so bad. Oh, even I think even if I liked coffee, I think it would be bad. But it's, it's, it's so bad. And it, like, one of the things I hate about coffee the most is the fact that it leaves that I don't know poop breath aftertaste in your mouth. You get that like stank coffee breath, and it's like I'm drinking Dr Pepper, and it's it's not getting rid of the coffee taste. At all. It just won't go away. I'm going to have to like, go brush my tongue. Uh, Alright, yeah, let's load this. Transfer the files using... A real. Okay, I... Sh sure. Alright. Alright. So we could have screwed it up. I guess we could have done the wrong one since it gave the option. Alright. So now to the B-A-D-T-F-L. The bad tufl. How far away are we from that? Default radio signal lost. Oh, okay. Alright, we're not that far, and since we keep hearing shooting and stuff going on, we might as well travel on foot, and maybe we'll figure out what what is happening. All these different signals and things are popping up. 
so this this uberly patriotic which does kind of feel like uh something the enclave would really enjoy doing so i don't know why it seemed like the enclave was trying to stop the black devil because again that was enclave remnants protecting uh that area now the bad tfl normally had what like just just regular raiders in it in vanilla if i remember correctly right so now it's gonna have enclave remnants in it instead again more shooting i want to know what's where to what's what's going on <coughs> excuse me Keep running and try to speed this up. And we're just going right over there. So I have to go back over the bridge. Had a little stutter there. Yeah, we had no crashes in Frost. I was ready for crashes. I thought for sure. All right, so we're at the back of the BAD TFL. I wasn't. Well, hi. Um. Uh. All right. This is not 76. I'm not friends with the Raiders. Why are we friendly Raiders? Uh, what's up? <clears throat> Not another step. We'll let you through for 500 caps. You're silly. Oh, what the hell? All right, well, that... I don't... <coughs> I don't know. Uh... Okay. I guess I had to... Um... Can I just kill this person, please? Because apparently they're making the script extender upset. So we'll just kill them. I was, my girlfriend, that's a girlfriend talking smack. I was like, I didn't have any crashes or anything. And that wasn't a crash. Till but you that, die, you dumb motherfucker. Oh my goodness, Heather. You're so raunchy. Yeah, but that was definitely a uh, separated fan. Oh my God, with the new radio things popping up. That was, oh my god, okay. More raiders. Yeah, that was definitely a script extender error. But no crash. Raiders would run when they see us coming. Yep, I say that all the time. With all the murder that I've done, I would think that they would, they would be like, oh, oh no. It's the, it's the black devil, Isabella Steele, coming to murder us all. Alright. There is a random encounter that happens in front of the BAD TFL occasionally. So maybe that's what was what all the shooting was about. Yeah, there's dead bodies and stuff over here. So I'm guessing ghouls? No, these are all raiders. Or, or no, scavengers. Scavengers, no. Pikmin's... Alright, so Pikmin came out and killed them all. I missed Pikmin. Yeah, look at this. They're all... Not all of them. Alright, so the Pikmin get a little overzealous. He took out some scavers too. Isabel, I'm trying to loot this dude's body. You're not Isabel. You're Heather. I'm Isabella. This is gonna be fun! Oh my god, how did you survive? Dumbass. Yeah, I, I, uh, I did have all the weapons, uh, perks jacked up, so even though the wep I'm not accurate with this weapon, uh, it is pretty freaking strong, so if I can land a shot, I can kill them without too much of a problem. But it's not looking, it's looking like it's gonna be raiders, so I'm confused. So there was Enclave dudes at the last place, and now there's raiders here. So, still raiders. If suddenly it's Enclave inside, it's, I'm going to be confused. Yeah, now this is... Yeah, this is what's normally here. Yeah, so this is... You come here for, like, Nick Valentine stuff. 
you come here for yes i've done like almost no vanilla at all again just a reminder man please don't just pretend I'm Pikmin and I'm just murdering everybody. Sweet. Sweet. There's a key. Ow! Motherfucker! You got him? We did good. You picked the wrong fight, Raider. Oops. We did it again. We killed all those poor Raiders. Fucking riddance. Alright, is that everybody? No. You are so dead. I like how I miss that point blank range. Alright. So we've gone around in a circle. Man, we hit the telephone jackpot in here. Telephone jackpot? What's the telephone jackpot? Okay. I mean, I guess we could take out the turret. We don't have to necessarily. We have the chief's key. We can get in here. Oh, it's playing the you found something. Yes. Music. But anyway, to finish my thought from a million years ago, just and only to prove his point that yes, I ran. I'm gonna make a prediction right now. You open that safe, you'll find a fork. <laughs> Let's see if she's right. Let's see. I'm gonna say a crystal decanter. Got it. Oh, we were both wrong. I think those were both good guesses, though. But yeah, he he he's not wrong. I do ramble. I don't really need the alcohol. This isn't frost. But I, part of my charm. I don't know. <laughs> I try to justify it some way. Mentats. Just who I am. I ramble in real life too. My friend Brian that calls me all the time. That is mourning uh, the death of his wife. Like literally, that's what he calls me for. Uh, he doesn't. Usually, know you find a lot of telephones or typewriters in a place like this. Makes for great scrap. Yeah. Damn raiders must have beat us to him. He doesn't normally have much to say, but he loves to listen. Detective Valentine, Nick, listen. I'm sorry. You've got every right to be upset. But you need to believe me when I tell you I had no idea. Operation Winter's End was my baby. I believed in it. I still believe in it. They kept us all in the dark, me included. I got briefed this afternoon. They laid it all out. That's it. It was the plan all you along. You was broken up about that dead raider. nothing we can do. Winter was a stoolie for the feds. He reported directly I am to nice. the BAD TFL. All on the books. Another silver locket. So that was, again, I said this. You come here for the Eddie uh, Winter stuff with Nick Valentine, and that was... That's exactly what that was. Alright, but we are not here for that. We are here. I swear that she killed somebody over here. Yeah, I was going to say, I went right past his body somehow. Let's do some quick looting. Since we ran through and murdered everybody real quick. Like, I don't want to leave the cap stash behind. Who miles to grab? All of the Eddie Winter stuff. You don't really want dog food. Got it. And then there's the little stash in the corner over here I remembered. See, I remember some things. And forget most other things. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. All right. So the main thing we were doing with Isabella in Whispering Hills was we were trying to kill things to gain XP to level. It's not as much of an issue now that we are here in the regular world. Plenty of things to kill. Don't have to worry about dying. Barbar. Barbaric. I was like, what's Barbar? Got it. Let's wake this Protectron up just for fun.
he can be a policeman since he's supposed to be a policeman robot. He can be a policeman robot. Why is it reset? Powering up. Protectron on duty. All right, have fun, Protectron. Yeah, because if this, if I was uh, still in uh, Whispering Hills, I would have killed the robot just for the XP. But no reason to do that here. Speak. I'm in. All right, so this is all again, Nick Valentine vanilla stuff. No need to fuss and muss with that. All right, so back to the other thing that I was rambling about 20 minutes ago, the idea of the Enclave being here and I mean uh, Extreme J2000 right that was his name was yeah I'm good uh, <laughs> he just he just said you know just just have him be you know, like a uh, like an offshoot like a uh, you know, different faction different version of them that's trying to you know like I'm adding to it a little bit but like you know the idea like trying to compete with the official version I always get so excited when I find duct tape, you know, or wonder glue. If you don't use it, you can always trade it. Everybody needs adhesive. Uh huh. You're right about that. Um, might as well grab this while we're yes. here. Ballistic weapons. Not using a ballistic weapon. I'm using an energy weapon, but that's fine. So that's what we're gonna pretend. It's just it's Sweet. enclave, but it's not. It's not my enclave. You know what I mean? We'll unlock this too, just for the XP. And if we end up doing That's the next Valentine stuff, which we do need to um, progress the main storyline. That was the other thing that we realized in the previous episode that we needed to do. Alright, so... Now we have the music catalog here. And who are you? Oh, Connie? Okay, so the Raiders took Connie. And... Is Connie a dude? I've never met a dude named Connie. But okay. Okay. Warning! Network functions locked. Some functions are locked. Please enter a password for access. Consult your user guide for further instructions. Find a password or hack the holotape. Uh, okay. How, how do I hack? Hacker one, hacker three. I don't remember, I don't remember what, I, what I'm on. Hold on, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. I don't think I have hacker at all. Oh, I'm hacker three, okay, I'm fine. What a dum-dum. All right. No, I forgot what the name of that. <laughs> I forgot what the name of the tape was. Of course I did. This one, right? All right. So yeah, we can do this. We can break the encryption. All right. Record audio transcriptions. Let's do current transcriptions. Raw audio transmit transcription. 127. Okay, so this was Connie. Connie, we're trying to summon the Black Devil. Ung, um, get him to protect the farm. So inaudible, unknown. The man you're looking for is no here. He's a thief, and the armor he wears rightfully belongs to the Enclave. All right, so why did the, why did the Raiders have him then? If all right, so this it it should be the Enclave in here. You uh, talking nonsense, pal. The Devil's a guardian, protects the farm from scum like you. Your opinion is irrelevant. All we want to know is where to find him. Connie, why don't you check a police station? I hear he works there by day cleaning toilets. Maybe you ought to take a real good look inside one. Unknown. Sergeant Hodges, do me a favor and hand me that hammer. Well, okay. So the torch, so the, okay, so let's, let's make it up. So the Enclave was torturing him here and then they ended up killing him and then they just left and then the Raiders moved in, I guess. There we go. All right, so Connie and Hodges. Unknown, you're wasting time. We know you have information on XO2. Uh, Connie, oh, fine. Give me a paper and a pencil. I can draw you a map. Unknown and audible. Connie, and the cigarette I need to smoke helps me with the creative juices. Would you like something to drink as well? Maybe a massage. Ooh, bounce, bounce, bounce. 
Uh, Officer Bradley here does excellent work with his fists. Mm, I don't know if I want a fist massage. Um, I know sometimes people use their elbows and really dig, dig in there. But what I need is that cigarette and not just want a whole pack. All right, Akani, we know this doesn't end well for you. What does this mean? Check the wall. Didn't you know? He, he, that's where the devil is in the details. He's being deliberately evasive. Look, if you can't find him, maybe we could call him out. All you need to do is sing his song. Here I come to save the day. Enough stalling. Tell us where the armor is. Oh, beautiful. First base disguise for amber waves of green. Not this again. Oh, purple mountains, majesty above the fruited plain. For God's sake, we'll shut, shut the... I would think that the Enclave would be digging this. Connie, America, America, God shed his grace on thee. All right, careful, torture may uh, make his testimony unreliable. I don't care, I just want to shut his goddamn mouth. Error, no text match found. So Connie must have been like, or something. All right, last one. Sir, we found the armor. It was a, a hunch, but based on what the prisoner said, we checked the nearby police stations, and it turns out there is a utility tunnel under the Boston Police rationing site that makes the that matches the description. Good work, Sergeant. I'm sure retrieving it won't be a problem. The officers are working on it as we speak, sir. What should we do with the prisoner? Leave him. If he's lucky, he'll bleed to death before the raiders find him. Yep. All right. So they ended up, <coughs> excuse me, tying it back and explaining. All right. So what's I can actually record audio. What? What? I was gonna say that didn't make any sense. All right, let's break the encryption. Break it down. All right, so now we're supposed to load it into the tower. Transmitting dollar sign, devil key, symmetric key found. Handshake successful. Decrypting, 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 decryption complete. Instruction manual. The salt tape can be used to play, record, and transmit audio as well as transcribe on it. If you possess a wireless radio device, you can share music between terminals, make it ideal for parties or social gatherings. Okay. I'm just checking everything. Alright. You having fun, Isabel? Heather, why do I keep calling you me? I think I got Isabella on the brain. I'm just worried about her, that's all. We were talking about Fallout, Fallout uh, stuff off and on, you know, for a while. And then somebody just goes MIA. And it was uh, like she hasn't even seen any of the, the messages that I sent, which are mainly like, hey, you okay? Did something happen? Are you alive? All right, new subscribers. We have, uh, let's see, I did mention Oogly Boogly is watching The Rim, Arthur Chiz, and Gage Bolin. No sure, no, no sure, not sure what you're watching. Nesta Thought is watching Diary of a Madman, which is another one of my older Fallout 4 series. All right, now it's nighttime. You know how I feel about nighttime. Not, not a fan. All right, how far away are we going this time? Oh, okay. This one's this one's pretty much, pretty much farther. Uh, oh, and is that where they just talked about the police rationing site? Wait, they said a tunnel under the police rationing site, right? I've been under there. <laughs> All right. Wait, why is it still saying? That's confusing. Why does it have two quest markers? All right, anyway, we'll be going here. But yeah, it, the, the, uh, this Enclave mod, America Rising 2, runs parallel to the story, the vanilla story, in Fallout 4. So theoretically, I would have to do these quests eventually anyway. Not necessarily, but if I was going to actually completely do Fallout 4, which I think I need to do to get the Enclave ending, 
then I might as well just do these as part of this series anyway. Yeah, because there's the whole... And I know if I have power armor, I can fall through the top because there's this door is barred. This side. And um, you can't open up these doors until you're inside. But if I have power armor, I can fly up and go through the ceiling. Because that's 100% what I did uh, in one of the previous series. Alright, but we'll deal with that another time. Aren't we by... Settlement as well. I think we're not that far away from is it Overland Station? So I kind of would like to sleep. So the super uber patriot patriotismness of uh, the Black Devil is kind of kind of making me think. It's kind of funny. I I do a lot of uh, weird things that people would think are probably weird or. Just be like, why, why even bother? Um, like, I'm a part of a program called Alexa Answers, where I answer questions uh, that people ask of Alexa. You know, the Amazon, you know, Alexa, what, you know, how many people live in, you know, Texas type of thing. Um, when people ask questions and Alexa doesn't know the answer, it it doesn't just like get ignored. It gets um, like saved and transcribed and posted to a all right so there's no enclave remnants here to like this this uh website and then they ask us to oh okay small rats i wasn't did not recognize what the sound was at first that i was hearing so then you know you can go in and answer the you don't get anything for it it's it's you know, it's volunteering excuse me but I, I kind of enjoy doing it I like um, helping people out uh, answering the question so then you, know, you answer the question and your answer goes live and then it will let you know uh, if people found your answer helpful or not and then you get a score and you get rated and yada 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 last time I looked I was my rating was like 96% and I was actually annoyed that it's 96% because like I only answer the questions if I'm 100% positive what the answer to the questions are and they're very like meticulous about how like your answer gets rated by the Amazon I guess AI before it even you know does anything else and it will let you know if it's good or you know otherwise please just uh so I do that. I, I am a uh, mod moderator for the Nextdoor website, which again is just another volunteering thing. All right, so we gotta extend the satellite first. I, I kind of like watching them go up. Uh, so that's that's where I'm beating around the bush of getting to. So I, so I do that. You know, it's basically just you know somebody's breaking the rules. It gets reported. I go in. You know, and it's all by votes. You, know, you vote whether or not. All right, so now we're picking up new radio signals from this. You you vote whether or not something is breaking the rules or not, and if it gets enough votes that it's breaking the rules, it gets taken down. It's kind of annoying because people still like the people that are voting. The other mods uh, clearly aren't following the rules either. Sometimes, so there'll be like a post that's blatantly breaking the rules. And, all right, let's see what's happening here. America the Beautiful, sure, that's the only option you're giving me, so I guess that's what I'm doing. All right, now we got to go to the Boston Police rationing site mentioned in the transcription. But that's, didn't we just ascertain it? That's, yeah, right nearby, but we can't get in it. So that's going to be interesting. So anyway, there's been, uh, there's a new person that's been posting, and they're, Posts are uncomfortably patriotic. I, I don't know. Like forced patriotism or indoctrination. I have a lot of really mixed feelings about that. Like if you're proud. Scanner is detecting sentient. Uh, Saltron demon. All right. I mean, if you're proud to be American, that that's great. That's that's fine. But like when you're like, how many flags do you have up at your house? 
they're like, I have 13 flags, you know, I, I'm, I'm distressed that when I drive around the neighborhood, more people don't have flags up, and if you don't have flags up, why don't you, why don't you have flags up, and I'm like, uh, I didn't know we were, we were having a, you know, a, a pee pee measuring contest, and this is a woman again posting this, based on how many flags we have up for our house, um, I don't know. It just it, all of her posts feel really weird and creepy. Like maybe she's a member of the Enclave. I I don't know. <laughs> but it's funny that doing this is making me making me think of uh, her posts. I'm also a member of the uh, Twitter, and I'll never call it X. Twitter community notes, and that's relatively new. All right, so it wants me to get in there. Um. Okay. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that without a jetpack. Is there a way to hip hop up there? I don't remember where, how to come out that way. Cause there's a way to come out this door. And then that's how you would Unbar this and get in. Um, okay. Alright. Let's go to Sanctuary. I do have a set of power armor. My five people are <laughs> very unhappy there. I don't give a damn about Preston or Mama Murphy or... What is it? I don't even remember the other two. Marcy and, and Jin... Jen, is that the other guy's name? June, sorry, June, and um, what the heck? What's uh? Yeah, all they do is just hammer on things. It's obnoxious. Uh, what's um the Elvis looking dude's name? I'm blanking on his name for some reason. I want to call him Chet. I know that's not it, but that's what I want to call him. Where is he? There's, I, apparently, I just have a frame. I don't even have power. There you are. What's your name again? Surges. Yeah, okay. I remember, like, right at the last second. Okay. Well, I did pick up some power armor, so... I do have a torso. I do have a torso. So, I do not have a power core, though, probably. Oh, this sucks. Um, hold on. I might have power armor in here. I think this is where I dump everything. <laughs> I think this is where I dump... No, this is just junk. Where do I dump? Oh, because you know what? Ah, oh, damn it. Because this is not Isabella's base. Isabella's base is Red Rocket. What a silly goof. Back to me. I can't remember if I have the right stuff there. I had disabled this, and it stayed disabled. That makes me happy. I do have on a mod to make Red Rocket more buildable. And I haven't really... You see what I've done so far. Uh, other than clearing everything out and adding some enclave, enclave stuff, I've not really done much of anything. Is my pit boy laid on? Yes, it is. All right, I do... So I can bring that here. All right, did I sort everything out? I can't remember. Or did I just dump everything in here? That's my two my two strategies. Either I sort everything out like an, a meticulous, insane madman, or I just dump everything. All right, so we do have some XO other stuff. I'm gonna grab. Oh, not the wedding ring. Not the wedding ring. All right. And I need Oh my god, I don't have a Oh my god. I do have okay. My brain I a lot of times I don't know why. I call them power cores in my brain. It's such a stupid thing. I don't know why I do that power. It's it's a fusion cores, but I'm like power cores. Pow pow power cores. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know why I do that. So much so that, like, I forget that they're not called power cores, they're called fusion cores. 
So wait, what was their what was their percentage again? Four <laughs> percent. The four percent happy. <laughs> well then, do something. You fix the place up. I've got time. All right. So hopefully, I guess I'll. Uh, what's that trash can, Carla? Where did you come from? You weren't here just a second ago. What's huh? up? Hey. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? I'm so oh god, okay. She doesn't work either. Why? Alright. See, so I don't know what the XDI status. XDI is not running. I don't know what that means! But it's a... Clearly a script error. Alright, everybody's chilling. Can't, can't buy stuff from Trash Can Carla. That's kind of annoying. Um, have a helmet, uh, left arm, what else? Right leg. Alright, there's a full set. Let's fix it if we can. This is, again, not something I would normally do in an episode, but I wasn't expecting to have, uh, to need, uh, power armor. Uh, modify. don't have the I don't have the ingredients I'm gonna say all right um, we're just going back and forth this is awesome all right can we enter can we enter the power armor hold on just one all right, go ahead I don't really want to use power armor but it sounds like we're going to get Enclave Power Armor for doing this. So let's grab all the stuff out of here while we're here. It's junk. I need junk. Yeah, so in Frost, we have the T-60 souped up as much as possible. We have the jetpack. Uh, we got Pain Train up all the way. Pain Train, I've never used before. I don't ever use Power Armor. So this is that's all like new stuff. Uh, for me in that series and pain trains hilarious uh, Once you get it to level three because you can just like run run into you have to run and it doesn't work every time It's inconsistent that part's a little annoying. I'm trying to harvest those purple things. and I can't apparently All right, so we're here uh, Let's get out I'm, I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to get out but you're not letting me for some reason all right can we do it now can you hear me now all right who's shooting I still oh that's annoying I only need a jetpack though for now can I do a jetpack jetpack Nuclear material, son of a bee, and I don't have. Okay, so I got some work to do. I need to be a science four, an armorer four, and I don't have that. All right, we'll leave this here. While I'm here, I might as well store all the junk. I won't play around otherwise. Alright, who's shooting? No idea. I thought I just saw something. Alright, just more mystery gunfire in the distance. No idea what... Who's shooting who or what? And we lost Heather. Oh, there's Heather. Is that you killing something, Heather? You normally use... Where are you? You getting uh, cardio in? What, what are you doing? Why are you running around crazy? Alright, let's... I guess switch quests. Because we're not going to be able to finish that. Until I uh, get science up. And science, we're at... 
three, so we're almost there. And armor... It said the three? Also? So we can do it, I just, you know, I, I need to actually level. So, okay. Um, I wanted to kind of do them in order, but apparently that's not going to be the case. We've been to... Have we been to Sagus Ironworks? Saugus? Sagus? Snuffleupagus? Nope. Alright, but we've been to the slog. So we will... Go through the slog again. Yeah, I mean, if you're patriotic and you love your country, that's awesome. Love it, it just, I feel like that's, a, that's, a, that's, it's like religion, like, love it in your own way, like, I don't feel like you should be telling somebody else that they're not patriotic or that they don't love their country because they're not hanging enough flags or whatever other weirdness, I don't know. I don't even... That, that would be controversial. Maybe I shouldn't say it that way. I'm not even a huge fan of the Pledge of Allegiance. Because, I, you know, I, my son does it at school every day. And it's by choice. I, you know, I talked to him about it. I said, if you want to do it, you can do it. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. Now, why would he not want to? Why, why, is, why would that even be? Listen. Or it's just always annoying. The main reason is uh, the god part. Who is throwing things at us? Nothing there now. Where are you? Why are you up all the way over there? We're not religious. My son is not religious. We've talked to him about religion pretty thoroughly. You know, he's nine. He's extremely inquisitive. He's extremely smart. I know everybody says that about their kids, but... The tests and the teachers say he's smart. So I'll trust their judgment better than mine. Because I thought he was smart, but... You know, again, my judgment probably tainted because I love him, and I don't want to be like, my son is dumb, but I love my brothers, and my brothers are dumb. I have no problem admitting that. It's the truth. The truth is the truth. But, uh, yeah, so he has questions, and we answer, we answer his questions. We talk about, you know, different, different religions and things, but, again, uh, Forcing kids to stand up, put their hand on their heart, and uh, talk about God. Yeah. It rubs me the wrong way a little bit. Again, it feels like indoctrination. If my son is going to become religious, I'm all for it. Um, I wish I had more hope and faith. I just can't. That's not the type of thing I feel like you can make happen. It's just either you you believe, you have faith, or you can't, you know, kill anybody because yeah. you can't aim and they come right at you with a flamethrower. Alright, what what is this? It's a person? Who am I killing? I'm gonna tear your fucking throat out. Please don't. I wanna oh. Hi! Who are you? You're just standing there. He's right there. Isabella, Ew. he's right. He's right. There's a visible wall here. I don't. I don't remember. I do this every time I come here. I get turned around every time I come here for some reason. You are dead. Something about the layout of this place that uh, gets me every time. Just trying to get to that dude. <laughs> hey you, wake up. Come help. Come come out here and help me. Yeah, I'm gonna lose as much as a dragon. Sweet. <laughs> For this episode. <laughs> this guy hates America and God! Unsubscribed.
I didn't say either one of those things at all. Just think, you know, forcing people to wave flags and swear their, uh, you know, unity to a god that they may or may not believe in is isn't right. That's all. The who does he want to be? He's a construction guy. What's that? He could be law enforcement. He could, everybody's a cop. Powering up. From Powering Dictron up. On duty. Alright. I thought I could. What I gotta do? I gotta get through this door? Is that what the problem is? Shit! Isabella. Jesus. Heather. Did you kill. Did you kill everybody? Austin! you get high? Hi. Hi, hello. Ah! Goodbye. Oh my god. Yay, talk about leveling. I leveled. Alright, where is where is this person I'm supposed to be fighting now? Alright. Flame for me in the face. So what? What am I? Forge keepers? No. Didn't we pick up another note that I didn't read? Spread out. Find him. What does this do? I don't remember this button. Give up now? Ah oh, man, come back! I didn't, I didn't give up. I'm right here. All right, there's a frag mine over there. That's not not at all what I was looking for. Where is? Right above me. Uh, that's not helpful. All right, you can shoot me, but I can't shoot you. I don't like this game. Ooh, more power armor. I'll take the fusion core. Thank you. I'm glad he didn't get into that power armor. Where are you? There you are. Straight. They gonna pop up? Nope. Disappointing. Somebody has a railway rifle, it sounds like. I think it sounds obnoxious. Can we get up over here? Who's up there? Oh, she needs a stimmy. Somebody's wrecking her. That's what's happening. Heather, I'm coming. Don't die. I don't remember all this. What the hell is all that? Did they add more stuff in here? I don't remember. Oh, why are you? Why are you? There you go, Heather. Could use some tea. Well, I gave you a stem pack. Don't be greedy. All right, where where is this last person? Come throw? on out! I'll make it. No sign of him now. Oh my god! I have no idea where they went. All right, I guess let's read that note. So what, should we, what should we do first? Go right to armor. Alright, there we go. Armor. Um, let's see. Yes, I forgot what it's called already. We found a heavy incinerator off the bodies of some old military remnants and didn't recognize the dog tags, but Slag was impressed with the quality of their gear. As for the incinerator, he says, something this special requires a trial, a test to sort out the metal from the ore. We've had a few volunteers, but that doesn't surprise me. Most of those these recruits don't have the nerve to walk through the fire, let alone the strength to survive it. Worse yet, I caught one of the cowards trying to cheat. I put the evidence in a... 
toolbox by the terminals and stashed the key in one of the tin cans above it. Uh, slide, look it over before we feed her to the forge. Okay. Interesting. What was that other note that we picked up? It was this. One of these, wasn't it? Alright, not that one, I don't think. I think we've already had that one too. Ah, uh, here we go. One of the caravan guards said they passed by Weston Water Treatment Plant a while back. Thought it might have some good scrap left to salvage. Might be worth a look. Okay, that's great. I said the terminals. There is still somebody alive in here. Somewhere. I don't know where. Come out and fight. I'm trying to find you to kill you. I just don't know where you are. Above the terminals in a tin can. This is a terminal. I know you're here. But there's no above. Oh, okay. I have a quest marker. This is bullshit. Taking that Nuka Cola. Come along. You belong. Feel the fizz of Cuckoo Cola. Alright, what? Who's throwing shotguns at me? Alright, so we're back, back up over here. Alright. There we go, we got the key. Combination wrench, duct tape, forge recruits note, rad X. Smelter console password. Okay. This new trial they've cooked up is effing impossible. Can't lie though, it was funny watching the first few recruits walk right in and see the feet melt off their ankles. Never heard anyone scream like that, it was great. Matches thought he was clever, but the idiot tossed a bottle of water into the thing and damn near blew all our heads off. Burner had the right idea using power armor. He just didn't rig it to resist extreme temperatures. I think I figured out a way. I've got a connect with a trader from my caravan days who hooked me up with some flame resistant leg armor. As long as I don't get waist deep, I should be okay. Problem is my trial is in a few days and I don't trust any of these efforts not to steal it in the meantime so I buried the mods under one of the crucibles in order to get it you have to shut off the molten drip then use the console to move the container down the track since I'm the one who handles the heavy machinery around here ain't no one gonna move that thing but me okay so I think I inadvertently skipped a step by uh, hitting that button that I didn't recognize, and I'm gonna guess there's a reason I didn't recognize that button because I'm guessing it wasn't here. So I don't remember doing places wait anything with buttons or safety first for your protection and safety. Smelt the controls have been disabled. The wall, the flow mode, levels and act is active. Use the button on the ground floor to turn the system before moving the crucible addition. Remember to wear protective masks and safety equipment while inside the factory. All right, see, I already turned it off, so I should be able to move the crucible and then get some some new swag, I guess. We could do something with this. Build something. Right, I don't know what I'm moving exactly, though. Oh, okay. I'm glad I stood there. All right, so what is all this? Cried out while treating wound... Lamb amputated, exiled. Cheated during first trial, offender and family fed to the forge. Oh my god. Ran from battle, fed to the forge. Died without permission during second trial, fed to the forge. <laughs> like he had a choice. Hood. Uh, caught stealing rations, fed molten iron. Oh my god. Havoc. Gave meds to enemy, flayed until death. Rampart. Allowed enemies to escape at all. Branded, exiled. Rife. Caught sleeping during watch. Eyes fed to Mire Lurks, exiled. Oh my god, these guys. Riptide. Cried out during final trial, fed to Forge. Really? Viper. 
Refuse to execute civilian. Family executed. Exile. Damn. Yancey. Refuse to change name. Fed the forge. <laughs> Alright, that was a good one. That was a good one. I enjoyed that one. We still haven't found that other person yet, have we? So is this is this where they I guess this is where they were doing the trial? What was added and equipped? What just happened? You know, raiders would be rolling in caps if they were traitors. Uh, they're just so stupid. Uh, oh my. Oh my. Well. Isn't this interesting? I'm not gonna lie. I look amazing. But, can I set other people on fire just by touching them? Can I still shoot? Oh my god, look at that. Oh, I think I'm off. Hold on, put the gun away. Oh, wow. Okay. That's pretty wild. So it burned, it burned my clothes? I don't remember what I had on exactly. It didn't burn my mask. So what what so what if I what if I Alright, so I just like permanently have bones showing. I I don't know, I like it. <laughs> We're gonna leave it, I guess. Here, what's that look like? Alright, there we go. That's very enclavey. I don't know what's happening, but so if you if you go in there, you get on fire, and stuff happens. All right, flame resistant left leg, right leg, chalk and plungers. Craft the mods and retrieve the heavy incinerator. Oh, is that so? I was supposed to go in there. To... Okay. Well, I've already, I've already been in there, so what if I just? Nice. I mean, I'm on fire. I almost kind of wish I could stay on fire because this is very cool. But apparently, as soon as I take out my gun, or no, it must be just a, to a certain time. Certain amount of time. All right, it didn't take my clothes off this time. Okay. That's fine. So we do we? We're getting so distracted. Do we complete the quest? I still have this on. I forgot we're doing that. Crucible. Yep. Okay. So. Nope. Not doing that. Can't do that yet. When pigs fly, investigate the merchant workshop. So we'll do that next. 
this has been uh, been interesting. So in between episodes, I'll play with the. Uh, it was talking about you know mods. So I guess there's new flame resistant mods. Am I gonna stay on fire forever this time? If so, that's awesome. I guess it's gonna get a little distracting though. There we go, burned out. Yeah, I, I like I like it, but all right, do I look normal? I mean, no, but that's okay. All right, so where's um, what's his face? That's that's the other thing. I always get discombobulated if we wanted to go deal with him real quick since we're here where it's up over here right yeah why not we're here let's do it let's do it if she tries to leave, kill her. Okay. You must be pretty strong to make it here. Uh oh. Uh, all right, we might have officially busted at this point. There we go. Um, can I just go up there and kill him? <laughs> uh, look at look at all. I don't remember who's the bad guy here. Oh, he wants him to kill him. That's what it is. All right, let's see, bro. All right, well, Jake's turned. Hostile for whatever reason. Did Isabella? Did Isabella? I mean, well, did Heather shoot him? Help! Ow! What? He's above us. Another fight. Another win. All right. It's not exactly how I planned on it going down, but uh, take the shish One kebab. less crazy Come fucking raider in the here. world. You did good. Thanks a lot. All right. Pork and beans and a sweet roll. This, this guy was my kind of guy. Oh wait, can we put him in there? Oh, you're too heavy to carry. That sucks. Wasn't there somebody else? Excellent. Ooh, new statues. Oh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! I almost missed the explosive bobblehead. That was a, that would have been a bummer. All right, what if I dropped the flamer in there? Hmm. This is important. No, don't, don't, no, 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 oh, damn it. Come on. There we go. Right, that's what I'm supposed to do, isn't it? Feed him for the to the forge? Pretty sure that's what the rules are. They fail us, we feed them to the forge. I'm bummed I can't throw slag in there. I feel like he's cheating anyway. He's got power armor on. What the hell? How do I get to the to the higher level? No, I'm blind. There was somebody up here for sure, wasn't there? <laughs> Shooting at me? Yeah, there you are. I was like, wait a minute. I know there was somebody else. But 
let's see. Can we can we get them? Oh damn it! Disappointing. What's up, Jake? <clears throat> wait, wait! I'm sorry. I, I messed up. I panicked. All right. So I had none of this during frost, but there's not a lot of dialogue during frost. Hi. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I, I messed up. I panicked. All right. So basically all I got from this is I'm just going to have to wait until they update because there's nothing I can do if the script extender is not working correctly. Then, um, I just have to wait for Bethesda and the script extender to update and then we'll go from there because these are all script extender errors. But yeah, they all seem like they're related to like dialogue. I tried to talk to Trash Can Carla. Nope. I tried to talk to him. Nope. So this should be interesting as this goes forward to see what I'll be able to do and not be able to do. Alright, let's just... Why is it? Why? Why can't I go out? Why can't I go out this door? Please and thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it hasn't crashed, but we do have you know some some uh, script extender issues. I'm 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 not upset. It is what it is. I don't know how to fix it, and apparently there's one dude in the world that knows how to fix this stuff. And his name is Ian Pratt. So, I've said it uh, I said it in the Frost episode, I'll say it again here. You know, if you uh, use mods, or you, or you enjoy watching people that use mods, maybe pop over to Nexus and go to his profile. And, um, donate something to him. Because he didn't get paid for this stuff. And I said, as of when I, the last time I looked, he has 1.7 million downloads. Yeah, you heard that right. 1.7 million downloads uh, for the Fallout 4 script center. He also does the Starfield Script Extender, which he has 1.6 million unique downloads for. Is that everybody? Heather, we got everybody, we're good? And get this. Also the Skyrim Script Extender, 3.6 million unique downloads. So imagine Can you hear me call if he had a dollar baby kick for every wallet, one of those downloads. Crawl out through the fallout yeah. I like Heather. That's why I keep calling her Isabella, I think. All right. Yeah, if he had a dollar for each of those, he would be a multi-millionaire. Hell, if he had 50 cents, he'd be a multi-millionaire at this point. And I don't know much about the dude, but I, I'm i pretty sure he's... Okay. I don't know why I got that all of a sudden. I don't remember when that normally kicks in. But I, I'm, 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 pro I'm pretty positive he's not a multi-millionaire. Okay. Um... <laughs> We'll go to Watts again and head south, and then we'll wrap this episode up. This has been fun, despite the little bit of issues with the script extender. But my whole point is, it's one dude. It's not even a team of dudes. Like, London has, like, an entire team of people trying to, you know, make sure that it's going to be rolling out. Uh, Ian Pratt is one guy trying to fix the script extender. And apparently... It was particularly difficult this time because of whatever Bethesda did. So that's it, huh? All right, who? Who? What? Ew. All right, so we got Enclave. We're 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 supposed to be in the Enclave and being attacked by the Enclave. 
I'm failing miserably. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna walk right up to me, it makes it much easier for me to kill you. Pop. Mother effing pop. Isn't there another one? Find the soldier's <sighs> orders. Thanks. So you like I took out the car to get him? Plasma caster? Heavy incinerator, okay. Plasma rifle. Alright, well it must be the boss. Excuse me, crows. Eliminate Isabella Steele. I'm but I'm a member of the Enclave. This is making it harder. And these guys, this version of the Enclave has uh, super duper power armor. Alright, let's see what this says. Didn't I, didn't I just pick up something that said it was eliminate Isabella Steele? I'm just blind. What else is new? All right, what we got? God bless America. View orders. From uh, First Lieutenant Franklin Field Camp. To Sergeant Michaels, Squad Gamma, message start. Sergeant, intelligence reports that a wastelander has come to possession of a heavy incinerator. It is imperative you eliminate them and return the weapon to field camp. Coordinates enclosed for cataloging. No loose ends. That didn't work out so well for you, did you? Splinter Cell of the Enclave? That's not part of the Enclave that I'm part of? <laughs> Wait, let's take a look at this again. In our, I mean, I think we look amazing, including, I'm curious if I, uh, turn God Mode off, if she's just going to immediately die. Because that, that, that would be interesting, if that's the case. Alright, we hear more shooting. Know who it is. Turret! Could use a hand over here. You'd think raiders would run when they see us coming. Is it raiders again? It is. Just getting warm. Oops. We did it again. We killed all those poor raiders. Where are they? Are they over this wall? Is that where it is? Where'd the little bitch go? Murder you? Where are you hiding? Bank it and oh, somebody else. Where are they? I don't see them. Where are you hiding? Raiders. They lost. All right, well, he's dead. Doesn't matter, he's dead. All right. Back to what we were doing before we were rudely interrupted.
yeah, I just, I love that I'm you know doing enclave stuff and then and then Bethesda adds the enclave in as I'm doing enclave stuff. I saw something moving over here. What what I see? Oh, it's a Brahmin. What are you doing? Whose Brahmin are you? Did you kill this deer? Did you kill that? All right, so this was just a trap? Who set up a trap here? I'm confused. I'm most confused by the quest markers, like, moving around. Where, what building are we going to? And... Uh, okay. Girls, 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 just a dude standing here. All right, well, this is where we'll wrap it up. Heather wants to go over and have a chat already. This has been episode... I don't know, I forgot where we are. 17? 7? Pretty sure I had 7 in it. And we're 7, we're 7, uh, what, clicks away from him? I am Logan the Mad Titan. With all that being said, I bid you adieu. Goodbye and good night, Enclave. That's right. If you're watching this, you're part of the Enclave. Which part, though? My part or the, the other part? And you're special. Have a good night. See ya.